everybody welcome to Leon's chainsaw parts and repair so we're looking at a super easy for Gary uh, this was sent in he'd done some work on it but it was not uh, wasn't revving right it would idle okay you'd rev it once you know it would die out so went through put new crank seals in it just on principle uh, there was some wear there but the real problem was in that carburetor. These Walbro HDCs are kind of a funny little animal. They have a check valve in them underneath the metering circuit plate. If you've ever had one of these apart, you'll know that on the other side of the carburetor, there's four screws on that cover. And underneath that is your metering diaphragm. That's where your, uh, your inlet needle is that moves up and down with the crankcase pulse to allow fuel in. And right there, there's a small round plate with two screws. You pull that out, and that's your metering circuit. That's what directs gas to either the high or the low based on where the throttle is at. Well, underneath there, there's a check valve. And I'll see if I can focus on this. So at the outlet for the high speed, you've got that little piece of gasket material and then this brass... Uh, fitting and screen that goes over it so the way that's designed it's supposed to prevent the pulse on the carburetor the fuel charge from getting disrupted by any sort of oddball pulse that either comes back through the car because of say a, a reed valve that hasn't seated all the way so when that goes bad and the little one that was in there is long since gone what will happen the old one is black typically and you'll see deterioration around the edges and it'll be warped so it doesn't seat properly so anyway once I got that replaced it started idling the way it should I could tune it uh, the way to where I felt it was proper and you can hear it idling it's looking good so like I say the crank seals have been done on this saw we have the new rim clutch sprocket set up. That's a very nice feature. You can see that it's been oiling quite well. I've sopped up plenty of oil on the test runs here. So anyway, Gary, I'm going to let this sit a little bit. I'll fire it one more time and then get the fuel out and uh, we'll get it back to you.